Welcome everybody to West Explains Best. Today we're going to be doing a Khan Academy tutorial on slope intercept equation from graph. Very appropriate title because that's exactly what we're doing. So it asks us to find the equation of the line, use exact numbers. Now what we need here is to first understand that we are in slope intercept form. You'll most often be introduced in this way, y equals mx plus b. I like to write it as y equals the slope times x plus the y-intercept. So the slope is always being multiplied by your input x, and the y-intercept is always being added at the end with no variable next to it. So how do we uh, find this information by looking at a gra graph? So the first thing we always find, this is the easiest thing to discover, is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where it crosses on the y-axis. So first identify the y-axis, there it is. It's this vertical line here. And where does this blue line cross? It crosses at four. So we know that positive four is going to be our y-intercept. Now, slope. We first need to understand slope in order to find it. So the slope is equal to our rise over our run. That's the change in y over the change in x, the vertical change over the horizontal change. However you want to think of it, the change in y delta y is change y over the change in x, okay? So the rise over the run. How, do I, how am I going to do this? Well, I just need to find two points on my graph. Okay, so I'm just going to identify two points. So obviously this is not a point that's not at a good intersection. Okay, so I'm just looking for a good intersection. Uh, this one is not a good intersection. Okay, that's bad. It doesn't cross exactly at that point. But right here it does. Okay, so there's a point. Now what I need to do is I need to find the rise and run between those two places. Always start on the point on the left. Start on the leftmost point, okay? When you're calculating slope. I'm, this screws up tons of people, but always start on the leftmost most point, and that was our first one, the y-intercept of four. Now, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go my rise. How much does it rise from the point on the left to the one on the right? It goes up one, goes up two. So I know my rise, let me go, I'm gonna write it as m, okay, actually make it green, is equal to my my rise, which was two, so two is my rise, over what's my run. So my run is my horizontal change. In this case, it goes to the right. It's a positive, okay? Positive because it went up for two, positive because it goes to the right, over three. So two thirds, okay? That's my slope. So my final equation is gonna look like this. Okay, let me make it, uh, I'll just use green, why not? Uh, two over three was my slope. This is my x, and this is equal to my y. y equals 2 thirds x plus 4. So we're going to type that in. So make it into a fraction. 2 over 3 plus 4. Let's check it. All right, great. We're going to stick to this formula. That means we're going to find our, our slope, or excuse me, our y-intercept first and then our slope. So we look here. We see that the y-intercept is 3. We're going to go ahead and lock that in. Y-intercept, 3. Okay. Now we're going to move on to, whoops. Now we're going to move on to our slope. We need to identify two points. So I'm going to identify this point. And this time I'm going to identify a point to the left. And I see we got one there. So now, how do I find my rise over run? I need to start at the point on the left. I'm starting at this point. Okay, and I'm going to go first my rise. That means up and down. Notice how I'm not going to go up. If I go up, I'm not going to get to the point. This time I need to go down. One, two, three. So I know my slope is negative three because I went down over, actually I make that green, negative three over what's my run. How many do I go to the right? I went over one, two, over two. So I went down three to the right two. I always like to make the X positive. You'll see that when, when I uh, talk about slope, I don't know what your particular instructor does. I was taught that it's best to leave the numerator positive or negative and the denominator always leave positive, just makes things a little bit easier. And I think that's been pretty true. So anyway, I always consider the rise, either positive or negative, the run, I always uh, consider positive. So negative three over two X plus three. So we go to a fraction negative three over two let's check it all right next question whoops 
almost accidentally checked it. Okay, we can see right away our, whoops, our slow, our y-intercept is seven. Uh, forgot to reduce it. Now we need to find our slope. We need to find two points. So there's my point on the left, and it looks like I'm having trouble seeing exactly where it crosses. I think this is a point. So let's go ahead and count it between those. So I go down one, two, three, four, five, six. So I went down six. And then how much do I go to the right? Oh, I made it negative because we went down one, two, three, over three. Now, here's the thing. If you get negative six over three, always reduce. So I can reduce this to negative two. So I'm just gonna write in negative two for my slope instead of negative six over three. Now, how is that a slope? How is that a rise over, uh, over run? We can always put it over, over one to get our rise over our run. You can always change uh, integer into a fraction by putting it over one. So, but we're just gonna leave it in simpl simplest terms, which is negative two. Okay, clearly that wasn't a point. So let's go back and take a look. We went down, oops. That's because I counted from the wrong spot here. Let's go back here, happens to the best of us. So it looks like we went from here and we go down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and we go over one, two, negative six, over two. I don't know why I wrote three. My mistake. Same principle applies. We get negative two, uh, six over two, which is negative three, and we can make negative three rise over uh, over run. So let's go ahead and change that. My mistake. Negative three, six over two. There we go. All right. Now we have the last one, and y-intercept is clearly four. Let's make this small, and we have two points here. We have a point here on the x-intercept, and then the y-intercept. Our rise is positive one, two, three, four, because we went up, and then one, two. That's four over two, which we can just change to two, or two over one. I'm just gonna write it as two, because that's in simplest form. <coughs> Got that one right. All right, there you go. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching.